Hello everyone. Now we know about kinetic energy which a moving body possesses by the virtue of its motion. Say an object was moving with velocity u and we apply a force f on it in the direction of motion and its velocity increases to v. Say it displaced through distance s while the constant force f was working on it. We know the formula v square minus u square is equal to 2 a s where a is the acceleration and this is the third equation of motion where u is the initial velocity, v is the final velocity, s is the displacement and a as we already said is the acceleration. So v square minus u square is equal to 2 a s. So here s is equal to v square minus u square divided by 2 a. Now work done denoted by w is the product of force and displacement where capital F is the force and S is the displacement. Again F is equal to mass into acceleration according to Newton's second law of motion. So we can rewrite work done as W is equal to mass multiplied by acceleration multiplied by displacement. So work done is equal to m multiplied by a multiplied by s. Now we put the value of s that is displacement that we got earlier. s is equal to v square minus u square divided by 2a and this comes from the third law of motion. So finally we get w is equal to m multiplied by a multiplied by v square minus u square divided by 2a. Thus w becomes equal to half of mass multiplied by v square minus u square. As a a cancel each other from the numerator and the denominator. Thus, this is the work done to change the velocity of the object. Now, if the object is starting from rest, then u, which is the initial velocity, would be 0. Then, in this case, the work done would be equal to half multiplied by m multiplied by v square. So, this is the work done which is equal to gain in kinetic energy. So we see the formula for gain in kinetic energy is equal to half mv square. Thus kinetic energy possessed by an object of mass m and moving with a uniform velocity v is given by the formula e k is equal to half mv square. So when a car gains velocity its kinetic energy increases dramatically. The formula also has m which means kinetic energy possessed by a moving object also depends on its mass. So if a car and a truck are moving with same velocity the truck would have more kinetic energy because of its higher mass. So to sum up what we learned today, kinetic energy is the energy which a body possesses by virtue of being in motion and the kinetic energy possessed by an object of mass m and moving with a uniform velocity v is given by the formula e k is equal to half mv square. That's all for now. Bye-bye.